Hey, setting stone questions time. We're on commandment number six, do not murder. And uh, again, you need the context of listening to the whole message, but this whole idea of uh, the taking of someone's life, God is the giver of life. And that's gonna be our posture. We wanna bring life, not take life. But let me just directly answer some of the questions that came in to do with that. I don't wanna answer questions that you are not asking. And uh, pretty sensitive, these questions. You know, you had a, a clear question because I didn't say it distinctly, but hey, uh, where does abortion stand on commandment number six? Isn't that as someone, doesn't that fall under that category of, you know, the taking of a life that God has provided in a way that is self-driven for a personal gain um, and it's a very sensitive issue and we should always be mindful so let me just be a little bit pastoral Des's opinion on here and I absolutely can I'm convicted on this one in a big way and that is this I absolutely believe that uh, abortion is I'm just going to say is the taking of life um, taking of an innocent life and uh, you may say, but aren't there certain circumstances where that's different? You know, the only one circumstance that I can reconcile on abortion, the one circumstance would be if the woman's life is going to be absolutely severely endangered. In other words, she could die if this pregnancy continues, then... I would want to enable that medical professional to do what he or she is called to do, and that is save lives. So go ahead and save the life of, in this case, save the life of my wife is what you're doing. Is the, the cost of that um, maybe the ending of a child's life? I get it, and that's a, a horrible situation, but I personally, as a husband, could call that and go, no, if my wife is going to die, if this continues, then go ahead and save her life because I am called to love my wife as Christ loved the church. And so I'm gonna do that. But other things outside of that, you know, I just, I don't see it. I cannot reconcile with it. And even if it's been horrific circumstances that that pregnancy came about from, or even if it's going to be going into uh, it's we just can't justify it now does that mean we have to there's a higher call for uh, adoption a higher call for supporting people in those situations absolutely that's our call to be compassionate and to show grace and mercy and empathy for people um, but I, I, I do think that you know that number six and abortion can be connected it's a great question and uh, I'd be happy to talk about that at a personal level with people if they wish. And it's a sensitive issue, I understand. And I don't want to come across um, in any way uh, judgmental with that. I want to be compassionate. Um, but God is a bringer of incredible life and can make all things new and all things uh, possible. Uh, in, in relation to that, one person did throw in questions related to, but yeah, but what about the woman and related to this whole thing? And what if the baby was going to suffer? Isn't it cruel? I think for some people, we need a fresh theology on suffering. Uh, the, the trying to remove suffering from your life is, I'm going to say it, trying to remove something that is a gift from God. You, you cannot just remove all suffering. There's no line on that one. Um, yet the very one in whom we love and whom we serve was a suffering king. He understands pain and suffering and, and God can be in the middle of that. And so to say, but this child is going to suffer is just a complete misunderstanding of it all. And to say this child deserves to live and this one doesn't because of a, a physical capacity. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. We are bordering a little bit there. I'll be careful here. We are bordering on trying to create a supreme race. We are bordering on all that. We are being a little bit Darwinian in our thinking when we want to eradicate that situation because there is a beauty and an incredible joy that comes when we see the diversity of all different human conditions. Um, getting a little bit heavy, but um, all right. Let me just pick up. There was a, one or two that were different um, here. Uh, someone was a clarifying statement more than anything else. There is a difference in the do not murder and the situation of a just war 
or a soldier has to do something because you've got a protection element. So I just want to say that I, I don't believe that uh, a soldier under the direction of a leader in obeying those commands, I don't believe there is a murder taking place in that sense. There is a difference between a war and a murder, which is the real, the, the heart of it is an anger situation with the heart of murder that Jesus picked upon. Uh, yeah, that'll do. The next question can relate to the next commandment, so we'll pick it up there. All right, keep watching.